If right now you're stuck and you cannot see shared drives in your Google Drive, it might be missing. There might be something broken. I'm gonna walk you through some places that you can check to make sure that you get access to shared drives. I cannot see a shared drive option in my Google Drive. Most people, when they share files inside Google Drive, is they will share files one-on-one -on -one individually, or they'll create a folder inside their My Drive, and they will start sharing folders from their My Drive. But that has a fatal flaw for business owners. And that flaw is that if you share a folder from your My Drive and someone goes to place a file in that folder, you can collaborate on that file and you can edit that file because they've shared it with your folder, but you are not the owner of that file. The original person who created a file remains the owner of a file. And when you're sharing in your inbox in My Drive, well, they may be owned by other people. Now, the risk for this for business owners is if you own a folder, but you don't own the files within that folder, anyone else can go ahead and delete those files if they're the owners. And that might be a contractor who's outside your business. It might be an employee that's gone rogue or is cleaning up their Google Drive and deletes the wrong things. And now that Google's trash disappears after 30 days of a file being deleted, well, you may find that you have files that disappear for good and nobody wants data loss in their business. So what's the solution? Well, Google have created shared drives and shared drives fix all of the most frustrating problems with sharing outside of your my drive folder shared drives allow you to set strict permissions either for individual staff or even groups of staff that allow them to share or not be allowed to share specific files and specific folders within those shared drives you can lock down certain permissions and say for example if i want someone to be able to place files into the folder but not ever delete files from the folder well you can designate that with the contributor role and this is really useful for if you're working with contractors who maybe have a gmail address outside your business that you don't control or staff members that are working with highly sensitive files that you don't want to risk accidentally getting deleted or lost Shared Drive has lots of different options where you can even lock down a shared drive so it's only available for internal use within your company and none of the files within there can ever be shared outside of your business. These are all available inside your Google Drive if you're on a business standard plan or above for Google Workspace. If you're on a basic starter plan, well, you're not gonna get access to this feature. And so in my mind, it is absolutely mandatory for business owners to consider using shared drives instead of just sharing with my drive. So I'm in my Google Drive here and you can see that I've got my my drive and I've got my shared drives. And if you don't see shared drives right now, you might be on the wrong plan or you might be using a Gmail address and you are not paying for Google Workspace currently. Well, it's very possible that you just don't have access to any shared drives because no one's shared a shared drive with you yet. Shared drives are a feature of a Google Workspace business plan and so you can only create a shared drive if you're on a standard business plan or above. And so you need to make sure you've got access to that. Now, if you are on a business plan and you still can't see it, well, maybe shared drives are switched off for your organization. To check that, we'll go into our admin console. And the easiest way to find the setting, just search for shared drive. And you can look for this permission here, which is called shared drive creation. So if you choose, you can switch on or switch off shared drive creation. So prevent users in IT Genius from creating new shared drives. So once that's ticked, it basically stops people from being able to create fresh shared drives. If you don't want that, then you can go ahead and select that, stop people from creating new drives. Okay, so once you've got access to shared drives, let's have a look at how they work. In my shared drives here, you'll see that I've created many shared drives for different areas of the business. So IT Genius has a number of different areas of business and we have a shared drive for each of them. I'm also a member of other shared drives that are owned by external companies. And so you can see here that when I have access to an external drive, well, I can see that files are owned by a different company or different organization meaning a different Google Workspace account. Now, if you're a small business, you may choose to create a shared drive for each different department or each different area of your business. I would say probably only bother with that if you have more than 15 people in your business. If you're a micro business and you've got less than 15 people in the company in total, my recommendation would be that you just have three or four shared drives. And my typical recommendations are to go with 
Number one, a drive for executives, shareholders, and directors. Number two, a drive just for management or maybe just for accounts and finance. Number three, a drive for everybody in the business, so all of your general files that the whole team need to access. And number four, a shared drive just for contractors or people outside your business with additional security enabled. Speaking of security, let's have a look at the options that we've got for sharing a shared drive. I'll go and have a look at my attract folder here, which is our marketing team. And you can see here with our membership management, we share membership with different groups of staff rather than individual staff. So this is all set up in our admin panel under user groups, and we can add user groups to our shared drives for stricter permissions here. It means that when I'm onboarding a staff member, I don't have to worry about adding somebody individually to all the right shared drives that their department needs access to. I just add them once to the admin panel, I add them to the right group, and hey presto, they get access to everything that that group has been shared. So I can see everything that I need to see. So you can see here there's different roles that we can assign to different groups of people, whether they're a manager, which lets them control everything, a content manager can let them move things around and also delete things, but not change any users. A contributor is someone who can add files but not delete them. Great for your contractors or anyone outside the business. And commenter and viewer roles, well, they're pretty self-explanatory. Now, not only do you have these sharing settings, but you also have the configuration settings for shared drive. And not everyone knows that these exist. If you right click on a shared drive and click onto shared drive settings, you'll see there's some additional features that you can set and they allow you to dictate what happens across the whole of that shared drive. You'll see here that with one tick box, I can untick and choose that nobody outside my company can access any of the files inside that shared drive. I might choose whether or not I want to allow someone who has access to the shared drive to share individual folders outside of the company as well. Great options there to continue to lock down access to files and make sure that your business is secured. Now, if you'd like some help working out what the best security permissions are for your business or working with shared drives to set them up correctly, we have a service called the Google Drive Blueprint and that's available for our concierge members and you can purchase that via our website. Now, the Google Drive Blueprint is your way of getting access to our team's hand-holding support in setting up shared drives, group-based permissions, and migrating data into a shared drive format so that you can get everything nice and tidy and all of your permissions correct so your business data doesn't accidentally disappear or become lost during a data loss event. If you're interested in that, you can click on the link down below this video, have a chat to our team, and let them know you're interested in the Google Drive Blueprint. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.